Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video to talk about the future of Windows as redesigned by yesterday's Microsoft event. One of the interesting aspects of yesterday was the complete, complete, um, you know, apart from Windows 10 X announcement, there's absolutely zero Windows news yesterday. Kind of surprising considering that we are close to a uh, release of a new version of 19H2. Also interesting to see with the, the fact that there's actually no news of anything about 19H2, which is also kind of weird. But uh, here's the uh, here's the big picture now of what we have in the Windows world. So if we go into the future of what's going to happen, we now know that there's going to be Windows 10 19H2 soon, without any news, of course. When? There were some speculations this week. We are Thursday, so, I mean, we're already pretty much advanced in the week. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, next week, maybe. Um, you know, it could co coincide with the uh, patch Tuesday of next week. We'll see. As Tuesday of next week will already be the second Tuesday of the month and uh, so for today we are October 3rd 2019 what we know and what we don't know well what we know is basically that there's uh, really not that much that we uh, talk about because there's really not that much on 19H2 except what I've shown you it's available for insiders in the release preview and I've shown you the new features this is the next version it's supposed to arrive this month if everything goes well um, we have this new thing called Windows 10 X that was announced yesterday, which is a different thing. Uh, we, for a long time, because this is what for a long time was called Windows 10 Lite. For a long time, we thought this would run on ARM processors. And it's very interesting because Windows 10 X is actually running on that dual screen Surface Neo, which is a Intel chip, which kind of surprised us a little bit because... Uh, do we need that type of device? I mean, uh, kudos for Microsoft. They're trying new stuff. But Windows 10 X is running on that device on an Intel chip, yet with containers. What does that mean? Each app, each Win32 app that you will want to use will run in its own little container. So it's a very different thing than Windows 10 regular version. Windows 10 X will not be available to anything else than devices that have du dual screens or foldable devices, stuff like that. It's never going to be, it's not going to be able, uh, you know, downloadable or uh, installable on a regular laptop or desktop. Uh, yet it has one thing that I think a lot of people would like. And, you know, if we go into that direction, that probably is something a lot of people would really love to see in Windows. You know, we've gone used to using our smartphones that update seam seamlessly pretty much in the background. Uh, you know, I wake up in the morning and I see, oh, it updated during the night and didn't even notice anything. And, you know, the updates on smartphones, um, of course, there's a minor a min minority of people that do have problems, but in general, you don't really hear a lot of, you know, problems per se. These updates go in the background and just run, you know, seamlessly and Windows 10 X is that there's did it say yesterday that there will be seamless updates in the background in Windows 10 X how about applying that to Windows 10 in general that would be kind of cool if they can do it on Windows 10 X now of course it's a much simplified Windows 10 it is a lighter version but still why not kind of do it on uh, Windows 10 be kind of nice. Maybe they should have a lighter version of Windows 10 for consumers. Of course, this Windows 10 X, we won't see much of it until next year because the devices that it runs on aren't going to be available until the end of next year. So it's still a way off. It's interesting because we would have thought that, well, you know, it requires a dual screen device, so that's why insiders don't see it because they wouldn't be able to run it. Uh, and until then, we'll have 20H1, 
which is the next version. And by the way, today Insiders just got a new build for 20H1, which is 18995. And we're moving on to that, which will be, you know, March, April of uh, 2020, just a few months after Windows 10. Windows 7 is uh, kind of, uh, you know, gone, basically. Well, it's not going to be gone, but no security updates un unless you pay for it. And now we know that there's going to be, on the second half of 2020, another Windows 10 version. This one, we are not sure. Is it going to be like this year, a lighter cumulative update or a major update? Will, will we be back to the major updates like we had twice a year? I think a lot of people don't want that, but that's something we got to see. And we're going to imagine, uh, you know, the next phase after all of this. So uh, anyways, we'll, uh, we'll see. But the future of Windows 10 is kind of interesting. And with that Windows 10 X now officially announced, um, I think the future of Windows could take, you know, new directions and with new devices um, in a different future. You know, I always say that uh, we're in the smartphone world now where a lot of people use their smartphones. And um, Microsoft, I think, just acknowledged that yesterday by um, checking out a uh, Surface Duo, which is a Android phone with two, two screens. So it's going to be interesting to see the future of Windows 10. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.